Welcome to Enhanced.Training YouTube channel. This is the second episode in our Pricing Confidence series. Whilst last time we looked at ways to increase your confidence before a meeting, here we focus on how to show confidence in the meeting itself. The more confident you are and the better prepared, the more likely you are to succeed. The more likely you are to be able to sell your product for its true value. Don't be tempted to sell yourself short. Follow these five tips for being more confident in your sales meeting. Five ways to put yourself in a better place to be more confident in your price and your proposal. My name is Anna Taylor, and if you're new to this channel, Enhanced.Training provides online business courses to help professionals, managers, and business owners improve their performance. For over 15 years, I've worked in finance alongside sales and marketing teams for companies such as Unilever, Mondelez, SAB Miller and Asahi. I've seen firsthand the importance of getting pricing right and I want to do the same for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with friends. So it does matter what you do in the actual meeting, clearly as well as what you do before it. It takes confidence to go in with that initial price that you want. So how do you show confidence in a meeting, even if you don't completely feel that way? Even if you've prepared thoroughly for your meeting with a buyer, you're likely to still be apprehensive, especially if you've not had much experience with these types of meetings or if this meeting is particularly important, but this is completely normal. However, there are ways to prepare and ways to conduct yourself that will mean you're more likely to succeed. So what are they? Well, the first tip is to be confident. I know the title of this series is Pricing Confidence. So when I say just be confident, it may sound a bit too obvious. I know you would if you could. But in the meeting itself, even if you don't think you are confident, you have to act confident. It may test your acting skills to a greater or lesser extent. And if you have to, imagine the most confident person you know and channel yourself to be more like them. After all, if you don't have confidence or belief in your product, who will? Remember, you are there for a reason. The retailer or buyer wouldn't agree to see you if they didn't think it was worth their time. You've worked hard on your product, you've done your research and you've prepared well for the meeting. You have every reason to believe in yourself and be confident. Now, one way to show this is to use confident language. Now, I don't mean for you to be arrogant, but don't be timid either. So let me give you a real life example from a, an X4, big, um, a big X4 grocery buyer. They told me about suppliers who would start a sentence with the words, well, my starting price is... Now, she said that the minute they said starting price, she knew she could get a much better price and they were not confident, so it'd be easy to negotiate with. Don't hint you'd be willing to lower the price unless you have no other option. Start strong and simply state, the price is... You don't need to say any more. So... What's my tip number two? My tip number two is actually to stop talking. Once you've communicated your price, you need to have the price and confidence to wait and hear what the buyer has to say about it. Now you may well be greeted by just complete silence, but don't worry about this, just pause. Don't worry about silences, they are completely normal. <laughs> After all, a buyer needs time to think through what you've just said, and if they're making notes, let them do it. Whatever you do, don't be tempted to fill this gap by talking and saying too much. Silences can be uncomfortable, but don't fill it with justifying the price or worse, offering a discounted without being prompted. Just relax and wait for their response. And if you do feel the urge to talk, then ask if, there are, if they have any more questions. It's hard to keep quiet as you may have nervous energy and you probably have more to say. And this is completely natural because if you've done your research, you will naturally have more you could say. But the question is, should you, or do you need to? Well, the answer is probably no. Wait to be asked a question and then answer accordingly. Answer calmly because you've prepared. This will show you're confident and in control. So tip number three is to listen. The buyer will comment on your proposal and will then have questions for you. But the key here is to listen carefully to what you're asked. You know, it's a bit like an exam. I'm sure we all remember being told to answer the exact question and not the one you wanted to be or the one you had revised for. Well, the same, the same is true here. Make sure you keep your answer to what is being asked. 
And listening is also important to glean more about what the buyer needs. Listen really carefully to what they say so you can answer their specific need and not the one you thought they had. And if you haven't highlighted how your product or offering can solve the need that they highlight then, then make sure you tell them. This way you can ease any concerns or hesitations they may have. Now you may have to think on your feet here, so it's not unusual to find out new information in these meetings, but price and confidence is key. If you're confident, you can adapt your proposition to suit this latest information. It doesn't mean changing the price necessarily, but maybe the package. But if you know what you can afford and what you value, then you're in a much better place to do this. Tip four, focus on value. So using these tips and tricks will certainly help your price and confidence. It'll be easier to communicate what you want confidently and clearly. But how you manage price pushback or objections will tell the buyer a lot about you and your business. It's really key to focus on the value you provide. Always stick to the value you provide rather than the cost. Drill down into what they need and show you how you can fulfill it. If they do appear to value cost the most, then your preparation will come in useful here as you'll be able to exchange a discount for something that you value. Examples could be faster payments, volume commitments or location on shelf, but make sure it's a fair exchange of value. You both should get something that you want. This shows your customer you're happy to discount as long as they can give it a value in your direction. It is what buyers expect from experienced sales teams. It's normal for them, so don't be shy about it and respond to any price pushback confidently. Tip five, body language. This should run throughout the meeting. Whether the meeting is in person or online, body language is key, as it is in all situations. If your body language says you're confident, then you'll be perceived that way. So head up, shoulders back, keep eye contact and smile. Now I don't claim to be a body language expert, but it can help to reflect on what you see as confidence in others and copy that. That practicing in a mirror that we spoke about last time will also help. And finally, if your meeting is over video conference, then you may have to sort of exaggerate your body language slightly. Of course, not in a sort of comical amateur dramatics way, but enough to make yourself clear and to avoid misinterpretation. So in summing up, pricing confidence isn't something that will just magically appear overnight. There's a reason we have the phrase practice makes perfect, but actually we don't even need to be perfect. Don't worry if you're not as perfect because no one is. Do enough preparation to increase your confidence. Work through these tips and tricks and remember your passion in your product and you will be fine. Just remember, don't sell yourself short. If you need some extra pricing advice, visit us at enhance.training and select articles or better still, sign up to the Pricing Learning Hub for access to pricing calculators, fact sheets, how-to guides and more. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of our weekly video releases. This really helps us produce more videos to help you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.